I can't tell you how excited I am. I'm finally getting to photograph one of my bucket list locations. I'm in the Outer Hebrides and I'm here to photograph Lewis and Harris. So for my first morning, I've come down to Luskentire Beach and already it has been a great morning of photography. It's been absolutely brilliant. I can't, it, it's started better than I could possibly imagine. And in fact, I'm not gonna do any more talking just now. I'm gonna put a couple of my images up on the screen that I've taken so far this morning because I just have to get straight into the photography. Hopefully those images are just a taste of things to come. I'm going to be in the Outer Hebrides for about a week and I'm really optimistic, I'm really excited about all the photographic opportunities I've got. The weather is going to be quite variable so I don't know what's going to happen. But the journey up, it was a bit interesting. Uh, we drove all the way from Devon, got to Glencoe, did a little bit of photography in Glencoe on the evening and then we already knew by that point that the ferry crossing from Uig, which is in Skye, over to Lewis, Tarbot, which is where we're going to sail into, was going to be either cancelled or delayed. There was a really big storm. 20, 30 mile an hour winds gusting 50, weren't sure the ferry was going to do. So we kind of had to hang about sky, but the ferry did finally sail at nine o'clock last night and we got over here. It was dark, got to our accommodation, uh, and then we thought we'll come to, to Luskentire Beach this morning. Um, and we drove here when it was dark, so we haven't seen any of the island until we literally got to this beach. Um, but so glad to be here, so excited. Let me tell you what you can expect in this video. Now, I'm here for photography, more for, about photography than I'm gonna be about vlogging. But I couldn't possibly come to a place like this and not share some of it with you. So I'm gonna, as I spend the week here on the island, uh, taking, going to the various different locations, I'm gonna share with you some of the best moments, some of the best photographs, some of the best locations. So hopefully these will um, not only inspire your photography, but also maybe inspire you to come here. I know it's an awful long way to, to get here, but hopefully the images and the video that I share with you will inspire your photography and inspire you to come here. Because so far I've only been here for a few hours and I'm loving it already. Now you've already seen the pictures from Luskentire Beach this morning, so, but this is where I am, this is my very first location. And do you know what? It's, it's one of the must do locations when you come to Harris. So there was no way I wasn't gonna do a little bit of video here. But it's absolutely phenomenal. It's a really long beach and the dunes are absolutely gorgeous. They've got these the grasses that are kind of green and yellow growing out of the sand and they blow gently in the wind and it's really, really pretty. And it's really worth taking a big long walk along the beach because there's all sorts of composition and the dunes change and the grasses change and the layout changes. We're probably going to come back here again actually under slightly different circumstances. So I think, you know, if you come here, this is an absolute must location. And if you get some good light, got the mountains off there in the distance, and then if you follow the, the beach around, the kind of the dunes change. I mean, I know I've got sandy beaches in, in Cornwall and Devon, but these are definitely unique. I mean, I don't get the mountain ranges um, in the background. So it's definitely a really unique and really amazing place to come. And, I, and, and like I said, I'm probably going to come back here. So this might not be the first time I do video from this location. But with all that excitement here at Luskentire Beach, it is actually time to move on. So I'm going to jump into the car and I'm going to move on to my next location. So I'll see you in a bit.
Good afternoon and welcome to Stackafris. Straight away, I'm going to apologise how I just made that pronunciation for that rock arch. As always, if I've got it wrong, please let me know in the comments below. But I'm on the Isle of uh, Lewis, which is the northern half uh, of the island, which contains Lewis and Harris, and I'm on the west coast, about halfway down. It's been about a sort of 45, 30 to 45 minute walk to get here along this coastline. But my God, what a coastline. It's absolutely spectacular. Now I'm used to Devon and Cornwall coastlines, so I've seen a spectacular coastline, but this place, it's something else. It's quite terrifying in places. Uh, but I'm glad I got here, and this rock arch here, this natural rock arch, is quite something else. I've got the sea out there, and there's nothing between me and, I think, America, really. Um, so it's a really exciting place to be. The Atlantic Ocean's come crashing in, and I'm hopefully get some real dramatic shots of the, uh, the rocks down there and that archway. So let's get all set up, and I'll talk you through how I'm going to make this shot. Okay, so I've spent a little bit of time looking about the area. And as far as I can see, there are kind of two principal uh, locations to shoot from. There's one there, which is a little bit further back. And from shooting from there, it kind of opens up the archway a bit more. But I've come to this other viewpoint, which is a little bit closer to the arch. Now, the views are slightly different because you know, the angle of the arch is slightly different. So you don't get it quite as open, but it does have the advantage that you can see the water go round the edge of the archway, which is which is quite nice as well. So I'm going to shoot this particular composition nice and wide. I've got the polarizer on because I want to take some of the glare off that water and make it sort of really dark and moody. No need for a neutral density filter. I'm getting an exposure time of about a second or so. So I'm getting some nice texture in the water and I'm getting that white water and it crashes up over the rocks and then pulls back. So it really is a kind of dramatic image. So let's take that shot. Okay, now that I've got that shot in the bag, I'm going to head back over to that viewpoint. Conditions here are changing, and changing for the better, I hope, as well. There's some really nice texture in the cloud there, and there's a gap just appearing on the horizon where, when the sun sets, it might just peek through and maybe illuminate some of that cloud. We'll have to see. So I'm going to head over there. I'm probably going to stay there, take those shots where I'm going to get a much, uh, where the archway is going to open up a bit more. Um, so why don't we head over there and take some images, and I'll pop them up on the screen. Well, that's me got just about all the shots that I wanted. I've actually come back round to the original uh, location, and I'm going to take one more shot that I'm going to leave you with before I go. But what an amazing location this is. Really spectacular and so worth the walk. I'll put that final image, image up on the screen, and I'll see you in a bit.
Hello and welcome to a very windy Northton. As I film this, you might see my lens get a little bit wet because after quite a few days of some magnificent weather here on the Outer Hebrides, um, it has gone back to, well, the type of weather that you would expect in the Outer Hebrides. Um, there's a big rain shower coming in, um, getting quite wet, so I'm going to have to work quite fast as per usual uh, in this location. I've got to hold on to the camera as well. Um, let me tell you, rather than the weather, let me tell you about what I'm going to shoot here. Okay, so I'm going to shoot something a little bit different here. I'm at Northton, as I said earlier, to shoot the Sultans, I think it's called. I'll pop the correct name up on the screen in a second. But what makes this place a little bit interesting is it's got all these kind of little water channels that have cut through the line as they lead out uh, towards the sea, I think it is there. And these water channels, they kind of snake through the land and they've created all these little islands and it makes for some really interesting photographs. I'm here in a pretty pretty miserable day, but um, I think I've probably locked out with the weather on this trip so far. But still, you can still get an interesting sort of uh, composition from here because you've got those lines and you've got those shapes. It would look great, admittedly, with a really cool uh, looking uh, evening sky, but I haven't got that. But I still think there's a photograph to be here and I think it's probably well worth a visit. So I'm going to get the uh, camera back out of the bag. I had to put it away because it was raining and uh, let's take some shots. Right, I've got those images just in time because that's the rain coming in again. I think by the looks of it, it's probably not going to stop this time. This is quite an, an interesting location. It's a hard one to describe, but hopefully those pictures that I've posted up are giving you an idea of what it looks like and maybe inspired you to come and visit this location as well. I'll speak to you in a bit. Welcome back to Luskentire Beach, where just a week ago, this is where I started my Lewis and Harrison adventure. And what an adventure it's been. Photographically speaking, it's been amazing. We've had quite a bit of luck. I mean, when you come to the Outer Hebrides, weather is always going to play a factor. But we've been out in all sorts of conditions. We've had all sorts of light, all sorts of rain and wind. It was gale force yesterday, but we still got out with the cameras to try and take some pictures. It's just such an inspiring location, this. Um, I mean, I grew up in Scotland, um, but this place, this is something else. It's got mountains, moorlands, beaches, 
everything, every everywhere you drive, even in all sorts of weather conditions, you think, well, there's there's a potential for a picture. It's it's, it's quite something special, uh, and I'm so glad it was on my bucket list, and I finally managed to tick it off. So this is my last morning. I've come to Luskentire Beach, as I said. The conditions aren't great this morning. It's quite sort of uh, grey and overcast. But I'm not disappointed because I've had such a good week. And hopefully um, I've managed to communicate that through my pictures. Obviously I've not done that much fogging, other than that, that much talking. But that wasn't the purpose of this trip. The purpose of this trip was very much for me and my photography and for me to take pictures. But when you come to somewhere this beautiful, you can't help but take a little bit of video. And I'm, I'm glad I've had the chance to do some of that and share those pictures. And I hope these pictures have, even a little bit, just inspired your landscape photography in general, or they've inspired you to come here. Because I tell you, if you come here, you will not be disappointed. It is such an amazing location, and I've had such a good time. I might have mentioned it, but you know, I'm, I'm, qu I'm quite sad to be leaving. But um, I must go home and uh, process all these wonderful pictures. Now, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do consider leaving me a comment. I do try and read and reply to everyone's comments. Was there a favorite location? Did you have a favorite picture from this video? Um, have you been to Harris or Lewis? Or are you planning on going? Please do let me know in the comments below. And if you did like this video and you want to see more, remember to click on that subscribe button. And if you do, or if you're already a subscriber, remember to click on that little bell icon. That way you'll receive a notification as soon as I post up a new video. But I have to sadly say it's goodbye from this wonderful, beautiful beach, Luskentire on the Isle of Harris, and I'll see you in the next video.